Okay, good morning, and welcome to today's Finance Committee meeting. I'm Councilmember Daniel Drum, and I'm chair of the committee. We have been joined by Councilmember Francisco Moya, Councilmember Karen Kostowitz, Councilmember Adrian Adams, Councilmember um, Aliga Amphrey Samuel, Councilmember uh, Farrah Lewis, Councilmember Mark Jonai, Councilmember Helen Rosenthal, Councilmembers and uh, Minority Leader Steve Matteo, and Councilmember Barry Gredenchik. Before I begin, I'd like to give a warm welcome to Council Members Ayala and Amphrey Samuel as the newest members to join the Finance Committee. Um, thank you. And uh, we've now been joined by Council Member uh, Ayala. Uh, today, the committee will be voting on six items, which are proposed intro 245B, an expense budget modification, a revenue budget modification, two resolutions to approve the Council's fiscal 2021 20, uh, operating budget, and a transparency resolution. Now let's begin with the proposed intro 245B. This bill, sponsored by Council Member Reynoso, would require the Department of Finance to one, create a not-for-profit ombudsperson position, <coughs> two, exempt certain property that receives a not-for-profit tax exemption within the prior two years from the tax lien sale. Three, exempt property from the tax lien sale where the owner has, in good faith, submitted an application for the not-for-profit property tax exemption with DOF. Four, provide notice to class four property owners about exemptions and other actions to remove a property from the tax lien sale. And five, include information on how to remove a property from the tax lien sale when denying applications for certain exemptions. New York City is home to thousands of not-for-profit organizations that deliver critical programs and services to communities throughout the five boroughs, provide for our residents' spiritual and religious needs, and do countless hours of charitable work. This bill is an important step towards ensuring that they don't unintentionally end up in the lien sale to provide them with necessary information and assistance to help navigate some of the city's bureaucratic processes. Next are two budget modifications. The first modification is the expense budget modification that represents movements of approximately $749.2 million of funding between and within city agencies to implement expense budget changes, which were included in the fiscal 2020 adopted budget and reflected in the city's January financial plan. The second is a revenue budget modification that recognizes $677.6 million of new revenues in fiscal 2019 and authorizes the appropriation of that new revenue combined with $400 million of prior year payables and $850 million from the General Reserve to increase the budget stabilization account by $2.2 billion to prepay fiscal 2021 debt service. The fourth and fifth items is the Council's fiscal 2021 operating budget, which totals $90.4 million. This is divided into $70.5 million for personnel services and $19.9 million for other than personnel services. Next is the transparency resolution, which sets forth the new designation and changes in the designation of certain organizations receiving local and youth discretionary funding and funding pursuant to certain initiatives in the budget. Organizations appearing in the resolution that have not yet completed the pre-qualification process conducted by the Mayor's Office of Contract Services, the Council or another entity are identified in the attached charts with an asterisk. As with all transparency resolutions, Council members will have to sign a disclosure form indicating whether or not a conflict exists with any of the groups on the attached list. If any council member has a potential conflict of interest with any of the organizations listed, he or she has the opportunity to disclose the conflict at the time of their vote. As a reminder, please disclose any conflicts you may have with proposed subcontractors used by organizations sponsored by discretionary funding. These disclosures must be made before the subcontractor can be approved. Benjamin Smith from the General Counsel's Office is here uh, and can assist you with any questions or concerns regarding disclosures. So those are all of today's items. Are there any questions? Seeing none, I'm going to ask Billy Martin, the clerk, committee clerk, to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on finance. All items are coupled. Chair Drum. I vote aye. Kozlowitz. Aye. Rosenthal. Aye, thank you. Gordenchik. Adams. 
Aye. Priest Samuel. Aye. Ayala. Aye. Jonai. Aye. Moya. Aye. Powers. Aye. Lewis. Aye. Matteo. Aye. Carnegie. Aye. A vote of 12 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. Okay, and we're going to hold the vote open for about uh, 15 minutes or so more. Thank you.